Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. So today I'm going to touch on Trump's NFT, and he raised over five million uh, because of the NFT. Also, I'm going to touch on Sam Bankman three. And before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive or could be important. Also, you can uh, follow me on uh, Bitchute. Uh, for BitChute, I usually post this type of video I can't uh, even talk about in YouTube. Uh, you can go and check it out. So this this video I post more than a year ago and this video as well. And of course, uh, at the time, nobody knows what's going on. Everybody's still drinking a Kuwait. Now it's, a, uh, it's painful to start waking up. But anyway, so uh, I also on Odyssey as well. You can check them out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well as Gather. Fun stuff I usually post on rumble and i also have a patreon group if you're interested you can check them out as well so let's talk about uh, trump's nft uh, trading cards uh, it got sold out in 12 hours uh, i think 12 hours is, is a little bit too long to be honest uh, if you were back in the good old days of the uh, bull market uh, probably in one hour all the nft would probably sold out and people spend millions trading them on the secondary market and you can see there's a 45,000 dig digital trading cards. Uh, and Trump announced that on, I think, earlier uh, earlier in the week. And they said uh, he has a major announcement. Actually, the announcement is selling those NFT cards. <laughs> and then this is uh, 45,000 NFT on the Polygon uh, blockchain. And they price at uh, $99 each. And within 12 hours, uh, they sold out. And uh, this is according to the OpenSea data. At 99 each, um, that means 4.45 million has been raised. The collections creator also received 10% of every sale on the secondary market like OpenSea. So therefore, um, traders have spent 5.2 million at trading the cards on OpenSea, netting creator an extra 520,000. So this, I mean, this is a very good uh, uh in terms of nft you can it's very good to uh raise money or make money because you have you are the uh, original creator and then subsequently when you sold the artwork or whatever you still get the royalties not just one time right <clears throat> and the nft uh trader of course uh, never miss a good chance to speculate leading to a strong secondary market and the cheapest one uh right now is 650 more than six times the original $99 uh, asking price uh, that uh, when Trump announced it. But the thing is, this thing, they can they can issue as, as many as they want, right? This is just purely speculation, to be honest. And you have to uh, buy it and then dump it right away. I don't know what's going to happen, you know? Uh, just like those uh, shit coin as well, those uh, altcoin, uh, basically pump and dump, most of them. So you have to buy it and dump it, basically. And in 2021, uh, Trump is saying that crypto is dangerous. It can be exposed, uh, exposure like we never have seen before. Now, in 2022, I'm doing my first official NFT connection on the Polygon uh, blockchain. <laughs> and this is called... So don't trust any politician what they're saying. I mean, they, they just say whatever they want. And then if this is to their benefit, they're going to say whatever good uh, at the time. And... Uh, of course, uh, I think uh, like if people who hold more than 45, uh, if, if a person holds 45 NFT, he, he, that person will be invite you to this McDonald's dinner. <laughs> That's funny. And <laughs> so the trading volume uh, on OpenSea, the biggest market for such uh, uh, and hit to 250 million last month compared with 2.5 billion in May. And and then they're saying that those who uh, those who uh, buying a Trump NFT enter automatically enter into a raffle to win a number of prizes, including one on one meeting with Trump at Mar a Lago, and also forty five. If you purchase over forty five of the cards, automatically uh, get to meet the former president at a gala dinner in Florida. Uh, the thing is, if you buy Ethereum at a very low price at the time, like maybe two hundred dollars, I mean, then it's not too bad. But right now, Ethereum is like a thousand, a thousand two hundred, right? So that's a lot of money. Anyway, <clears throat> let me know what you think about this uh, Trump NFT fiasco. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Uh, 
And also, I'm going to touch on Sam Bateman Free. Uh, so Sam Bateman Free, they're saying uh, he's saying that he's going to reverse the decision on contesting whether to extradite. So he doesn't want to be extradite, appear in the U.S. court, and he want to get a uh, he want to get a bail out of the prison in Bahamas. Uh, Bahamas is, has only one prison, and the condition is not good. Of course, is the sanitary condition. Blah blah blah. And after they refuse to, after they refuse him uh, a bail, because they are afraid that uh, he may, he may uh, flee somewhere. But the thing is, he had plenty of plenty of time to flee, right? He even appeared on uh, Good Morning America and all that. So uh, after he tried to bail, fail, uh, the lawyer uh, saying that he want to re uh, reverse the uh, contesting extradition. He doesn't want extradition back to the U.S. because it will be under the U.S. law because he com commit a whole bunch of uh, wire fraud on customer lenders, security fraud, commodity fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy to derail the U.S. violate, uh, violate the campaign finance uh, law. And current, the I think one the current lawyer is Mark Cohen. He is the uh, defense lawyer. He was the defense lawyer for Maxwell, the uh, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Epstein case, right? And of course, Maxwell get a sweet deal uh, in a country cup prison somewhere in Florida. Uh, I guess doing yoga or something. Anyway, maybe he can get a sweet deal uh, just like Maxwell. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If you found this video interesting, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, also share with your friends, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive or could be important. Also, you can follow me on uh, Twitter, Gather, uh, Odyssey, Bitchute, and Fun Stop in Rumble, and I also have a Patreon group. Uh, remember, Crypto Deep Dive as we, we the people take control of the money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not your financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, and stock market can have inherent risk. Please use your due diligence. This video is only for entertainment purposes, not a financial advice. You should consult with your financial planner. And I'm not responsible for any loss for this video, future video, or previous video. As I said, this is only for entertainment purposes, not a financial advice. You are responsible for your money. And peace out.